Good afternoon, every one of you. May all be comfortable at your places, either your home, your work, or your place for study, your school. Today, I'm going to present you a, a small fragment of uh, preach by Bishop D.D. Jakes, one of my favorites here in the in the internet is a, a, a very energetic and special person who is uh, has dedicated his life for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And in this particular celebration, which is, uh, I don't see the, the date here, but well, I can see the date. Let me see if I can can see scripture, second Samuel. The message is is named Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's very funny. And the service date is January thirteenth, two thousand and nineteen. That means three years ago. Since we are on January sixteenth, two thousand twenty-two. So it's three years ago and the fragment I am going to show is uh, selected for this uh, particular list in the ministry that we have here at home which is named Matthew 13 45 46 it has a purpose in in its name of course but it doesn't uh, matter by the time being what is the meaning of this uh, ministry but so far we are dedicated to to spread the word of Jesus the word of God for to as many people as we can always in uh, faithful and friendship friendly way friendly manner and with plenty of respect for everyone's background and experience. So let us hear our pastor, T.D. Jakes. It's going to be a surprise. The pastor is speaking about a particular situation. He is calling the church to enter into a disruption, a complete disruption of what is usually meant by a, a Christian life. I mean, what we know as Christian life is really not what is meant to be Christian life. And pay attention for the calling, because funny as it sounds, it has a very, very profound meaning. People, okay, here it comes, the surprise. So the Ark of the Covenant is entering to the room, actually to the the whole of the church. Look at that. Look at that. I 
and it is wonderful. I have to share my testimony about this celebration that here at home, three years later, three years after the celebration of this event at TD Jake's uh, community, TD Jake's uh, church, I was also inspired at uh, filled with this Holy Spirit inspiration and this is why I am sharing this very precious moment with you along with a small part of the of the final portion of the preaching So it's a complete ecstasy. It's a complete uh, disruption. So this the pastor speaks of the usual order of the room, of the hall of the of the church. His brother is completely in ecstasy. Who knows? Nobody knows what goes in, in the mind of a a person who is touched by the Holy Spirit in one of these events. But I I consider one of them, I consider myself one of them. And one of the core ideas of this preaching is that you have to, to be a purposeful person. You have to be a purposeful Christian. You have to be someone who has a purpose in life. Not only be accustomed to uh, a way of uh, behavior, a way of a tradition, probably, a way of a discipline, a schedule, that's important in life, of course, but there is also a chance to disrupt your routines and enter into uh, a blessing of the Lord like this. When you liberate yourself from what you are, what you really, uh, what, what is really tying you, what is really gripping you to being person, an employee, or even a Christian, you have to understand that God wants to disrupt your routines, your your customs, your habits, and even what you, you believe is your spirituality. He wants you to, to change. He wants you to, to enter into communion with Him. And somehow you have to learn to allow the Lord to disrupt your plans and everything that makes you secure in life. I have a very strong testimony this year, this particular year. Uh, all uh, second half of 2021 my life was completely disrupted I will not enter into details here and one of the outcomes of this disruption that the Lord made in my life the life of everyone here at home one of the outcomes of this situation is precisely the opening of this ministry, Christian ministry, that we came to name Matthew 13, 45, 46.
you can see I, I mean people there dancing free from every protocol dancing and, and feeling free dancing like like the birds of the forest being happy and expressing themselves spiritually before the Lord you can see in this congregation which I don't personally know I mean I do not live in the United States the, you can see that everyone is well dressed everyone is very crispy so to speak correct and the normal people who attend to a Sunday service in church For people like me who have entered into the world of disruption of the Lord, when the Lord has disrupted your routines, your plans, even your health, <laughs> believe it or not, for people like me who has to say goodbye and it's an end for everything that I was used to knowing that the Lord that our Creator loves to disrupt our our life I want every millennial to run to the altar right now every millennial, it's wonderful. Every millennial this is incredible to message I'm going to share right I got other I similar got messages from other congregations where young people, I mean millennials, so to speak, millennials, those people who are called millennials because they were born by the turn of the century when the 21st century began, that is 22 years ago, they are called millennials. People who were born when the internet was already a global technology but look at this how many young people are coming from all over the church and going to the altar and the message of the pastor is that do not frame yourself in a name a denomination. Be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Be a follower of Jesus Christ. Be an image of Jesus Christ. Imitate his his ways. Imitate the way he spoke. Imitate the way he advised. Imitate the way he was patient. Imitate the way he wa was a healer for others. Imitate his compassion. Is that I want to remind you of sober behavior. And David was 30 years old. And imitate his grace and his happiness and his perseverance. I don't want you to picture no great on his purpose here on earth. God gave him the power in his youth. Anointed him for headship in his youth at 30 years old. 
the power of God set him in a place. That's why when Jesus people just my age, about 60, we usually think about Jesus in a very, very special way because when he ministered the earth, this planet, and the people of Israel, he was very, very young. He was his early 30s when he accomplished his ministry. And here we are, I mean, doubling that time span and still learning from his words, from his message. Destiny is destroyed just because you had a setback, got in trouble, made a mistake. This is important. Had a disappointment, lost somebody along the way just because the ark slipped, just because Uzzah died, just because the ox tripped, doesn't mean it wasn't for you. If it was easy, anybody could do it. You give up too soon. For many of us, when you run into hardship, probably you take it's hardship going to be hard the following years because you gotta be than some of us have uh, be been left alone on earth. We have lost loved ones. That the devil wouldn't be fighting. And I know that it is hard. It is going to be hard. Of course. About to bless me. But we need to understand that See, you've been too there is a church of Jesus Christ. You gotta disrupt something. In the very moment you, you decide to go ahead God. with life, with but the life that you are assigned to, when you are recovering or discovering your purpose in life, when that happens, you will be happier again, you will be free again, and you will learn to understand and accept your sadness. And your doubt. And you will understand that the Lord is disrupting your plans. And the Lord is changing your face in, in the world, in life, in order to let you have a better place to enjoy His presence before you. Praise be the Lord, because he is indeed the one who has placed us in, on this earth and this age. And now that everyone is trying to, to be grateful because this two year two years pandemic is about to become an, an endemic now that people see back to the past and say everything is already gone everything happened everything has just finished that's in the name of science and in the world economics probably but in the world of the spirit in the realm of God this was a small disruption and there are going to be more and more changes and it doesn't matter if the changes affect everyone in the planet 
Well, you have to try to experience this, uh, these changes, these changes in in situation and in point of view and in your minds that are going to affect you and you are going to be a better Christian, a person who is a good neighbor, a more patient person, a person who is heading towards his or her purpose. This was the message of Bishop T.D. Cakes today. In the internet, but the, the event took place three years ago. So the message of the Lord is always in advance. These people were about one simple year for, from entering into one of the strongest crises the modern world has experienced in recent times an experience that affected us all whatever the religion, whatever the culture, whatever the language, whatever the financial status, we all were affected by this pandemic. Uh, here it is, Bishop T.D. Jakes preparing his congregation, uh, paying much attention to youngsters and telling them to be prepared for a new scenario where God is in command. Thank you everyone. Disrupted. This is the message. Thank you and in the name of Jesus Christ and all rights reserved for T.D. Jake congregation T.D. Jake's congregation Bishop Jake and of course this video cannot be used for financial purposes inside this chat and it is shared to you as testimony of the Lord, of the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Amen. Okay, thank you for watching at this extract, extract from this wonderful um, event at the Church of Pastor by Bishop T.D. Jakes. I want to to give a final message, a final testimony that indeed we are uh, plenty of us, plenty of us humans in, in this planet. I mean, everywhere you go, plenty of us have been experiencing this disruption of the, of the Lord in, in our lives. And everything that, that we considered fine and all right in our lives suddenly changed. And we have experienced probably months, uh, probably years of uh, distress and grief, pain, and sometimes the disabledness due to the, either the pandemics or, or the conditions created by these pandemics. I want to share with you that Back in 2019, I had my my own advice, my own announcement that there was something uh, important and strong entering into into my life, and uh, 
I considered that it was going to affect humanity. It was in, in the dream. But I did not pay attention to the details until my life really began to change dramatically. So I want to tell you that uh, after almost 20 years trying to to be aligned with the discipline of, of Jesus Christ, when he tells you that you have to control your sight, you have to control your actions, you have to refrain and restrain from from taking from others what is not yours, what is theirs. Because when you steal something from someone, that doesn't mean that you're going to take money or something material, but you can also steal time and steal the opportunity to be free. You can steal emotions, you can steal feelings. And you have to be aware that this conduct that we sometimes are accustomed to, to practice, this behavior has to stop. And when we are stubborn enough not to see the signals of the imminent change that is arriving, the Lord takes action and the Lord starts changing your life. It is painful. It is painful when you see that your income, that your stability, that your family, that your health, that everything that you relied upon is about to change or disappear. And after some time, we are found our, we find ourselves uh, crying for for the return of the previous condition in our lives and it is hard to realize that the things will not be the same again in the future so this is why i am sharing these uh, sermons and events full of wisdom that invite us to understand that everything is not forever in this life. We have to, to become aware that we need to change. We need to enter into the, the, the cloud of the Lord in order to, to let him, to allow him to, to change everything in our lives, in our, in the court of our stability and, and equilibrium if you will. So I hope that this, is, this sharing is not going to perturb you or, or disturb any, anybody. I am sharing this small portion of the uh, wonderful service held in, back in 2019 at the, at the congregation of TD Jakes. And I'm sharing this sincerely. And I hope that you are going to, to enjoy and and you will try to understand why your situation suddenly has changed or is going to be changed in the future. Thank you with dear respect and Christian Brothership. Amen. See you later.